Hello and welcome back to the Faroe Islands. We are out and off. Um, the four are loaded up. We've all been breakfast and uh, goodied, and uh, we've got pat lunch ready for you know for the day, and we're off out. The well, first stop is a beach. So hopefully you'll stick. Well, look at that. Look, oh god, look! I've just seen this. You can see the gap over the top of the clouds. Oh. Actual photographers. Yeah, the actual photographers have stopped to get that cloud. That's amazing. Wow. So, yeah, literally this is what we're going to put up with and what you're going to have to put up with. It's going to be in and out day to day. Me getting excited, running around with a camera, looking for the shots, getting the photos. This is absolutely stunning. We've literally just got in the car and we're just off. Left at the top, Mr. Road. Um, and uh, yeah, we're heading to a beach. It's got black sands on it and hopefully some other stuff. Uh, I would tell you what the name of it is, but I've forgotten. Molin. Molin. Molin Beach. And the name will be on the screen for you anyway. So I'll see you a little bit further along on the journey. Clear this way. So we've made it to our destination and I've got a bag full of rubbish, which I'm gonna leave outside the car until we get back. So please don't forget it because otherwise the inside of the car is going to smell of onions. <laughs> um, yeah, we don't have a, a bin in the actual accommodation or they have communal bins. Yeah, there's some over there. That's a good point. Um, they have like a communal bins. So we need to look for that. So we're at our first destination, not the one I thought we were going to, um, as I've just solely been pointing out. I'm waiting to find the Black Beach Sand. We're not going there. We've come to a waterfall. Um, we're parked next to this football pitch, which is obviously being used as a camping ground at the moment. So that's the plan. I'm gonna put my little coat on and uh, go and find some water to play with. Preferably dry, not wet. We are rock walking. We're on uh, near the beach, which is not gonna be hard while we're in the Faroe Islands. The beach is all around us everywhere we go. That's basically what we're here for, the cliffs into the sea. So you're gonna be seeing plenty of that. We had a good, uh, a good start to the day or the week yesterday uh landing eventually you uh, know a night a night late got a couple of sh shots at the classic locations so hopefully you'll check that one out i'll put a link up for you now uh if you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button and you'll see the rest of the upcoming week and if you're just watching me for the faroe islands subscribe anyway eh? you never know what i get up to um i've forgotten the name of this place already again so it doesn't matter, I've already had it up on the screen once. I'm gonna be like that all week. I'm a bit forgetful for names and places, especially when I can't say them or pronounce them. But we are, we're walking across some rocks at the moment, relatively easy location this is supposed to be, and we're looking for a waterfall. That's what we're looking for. And I'm hoping it's just over this brow. So this is something we're gonna to have to put up with this week as well, is this place is very dependent on the weather speaking to some locals they say the weather can change within 15 minutes dramatically from sunshine to snow virtually um, we are on the rocks very gritty bolsy bolster like very very volcanic looking um, the waterfall is literally as much as what your bathroom tap is going to put out so it's quite a disappointment but we're here and the disappointment is part of the fun of finding a photograph and i'm already looking at rock pools rocks cliffs we've got mountains we've got so much dramatic stuff going on so it's finding a nice bit of interest to make a nice shot with or make a shot to go home with this is not far from where we're staying either so if we have a rainfall overnight or over the next couple of days we know we can drive back here and we can have the water this is going to be very dependent on having rain and as we only got here yesterday we don't know how much water's falling out of the sky at the moment um i'm not sure quite a lot because the waterfalls are quite dry so let's have a look at these these have got some lovely lovely walk pools here uh, leading lines in them and stuff so we'll be using something like that but let's have a look anyway see what we can find got this first image set up looking out away from me i've got this lovely big pool of water over to the left hand side reflecting the sky the sky is looking quite moody it's got some good atmosphere to it the tiny tiny trickle of water coming off the cliff is on the other side um yeah and basically i'm just trying to take in what i can on the ground level 
and add in the scenery behind it afterwards. So I'm looking for the ground and then the scenery is just going to be plonked in the background. The scenery at the background is the impressive stuff. The scenery in the foreground is what's going to make the shot, if that makes any sense. So I'm looking for a line that leads through. I've got a nice little curve from the edge of the water. I've got these nice little um, ribbles in the, in, the, in the rocks, in the shapes. And that's basically my plan to do this for now. I'm going to just look around here, get the little pools of water, maybe the odd rock or something, and then add the scenery behind it afterwards and make sure I get some separation between the water or rocks or gaps in the reflections in the water. So first one's coming up on the screen now for you. We're off to a roll, camera's out and ready. Let's see what else we can find. I've got my, yeah, I'll do the photography first. Yeah, I was just saying to Robin that you've got to be careful because the vlogging can take away from the photography a little bit. But um, yeah, I've got a really cracking little image set up. Uh, the fact that there's no water in that waterfall isn't bothering me because I'm finding some really nice water pools. And this shot's particularly nice because I'm going to do a selfie in it. And I'm probably going to go and stand right over on the left-hand side of the rocks and get Robin here to hit the shutter button for me. But I'm just doing a focus stack, foreground and uh, distance. That's all. F11 should be fine, but I've got a beautiful little cluster of, um, a little lump of rocks in the water pool, and they've got salt around them, which is making them stand out. And then I've got salt all the way around the edge of the water pool, but I've got the perfect reflection of the mountain in the background. And it's just, I've just set it up. So you've got this bit of gap of light between the mountain and the top. Before I was too far back and it was overlapping the rocks. Then I got too far forward, there was too much gap. But at the moment, that is just nice. I'm now gonna focus over there. I'll walk around and let Mr. Mr. Robin hit the shutter button for me. It just saves me running around like an idiot trying to get it right. So uh, yeah, enjoy these couple and I'm gonna find another one. Uh, we're getting water movement and I've got this lovely swirling crashing water that's crashing down in front of me and every so often the water comes over this bank next to me and washes across and gives me some leading lines. Now it's very difficult to get the um, the foreground and the midground because the foreground's very very dark so I need to do like quite a bright exposure for my foreground which I'm going to do that now one second shot which will mean this water's just smoothed out and I'm just going to bring my histogram down until my um, right hand side isn't clipping anymore, which should just give me enough movement in the water to give me this dramatic, look at the size of that, crashing around and waiting for the swallows to go back out, which is giving me those lines and you're getting an interaction between the water coming in and the water going out. And every so often you get this big, big crashing wave coming in. And I think I need to be behind me really because there's a, a beautiful, section of water down there that's really quite um, spectacular the way it's washing over the top and I've got to get that so I'm going to really try my hardest to see if I can get myself in a position and the tide's coming in at the moment is another big wash and just hitting the shutter button and taking us all the ones with the movement absolutely fantastic this is me up right up close to that Atlantic Ocean proper good stuff really nice that's that looks really good. I, I, I want to go there. Let's have, a, let's have a look, see what we can do. Now there's two of us. Just seen my first fellow e seal. He's coming out of play, coming out of look, and he's been very nosy of what me and Robin's up to. Um, keeps popping his head out in front of us. But I've got another image set up, very similar to the last one. I've got this nice coast leading line of the water from the left to the right, leading you into the image at the background, making sure my horizon is nice and straight. And uh, I haven't got the second mountain in this one, I've only got the first one, but it looks pretty awesome. Um, and what I'm trying to do now, because I can't get down, we've both tried to get down low to get the perfect image with the water swirling around, but we're not going to get down there. The water, where the water's over the rocks, they're really slippy, and there was no chance I'm taking a risk of slipping and hurting ourselves. So, 
polarizer is on, I'm also going to put the three stop on if I haven't already done it. I haven't, so I'm going to get my three stop out of my bag. I'm going to put that on. I'll just slow the shutter down a little bit, which is going to give me some movement in the water so I can get my time to a sort of half a second dish and stuff like that. And then I'm going to take my bracketing off and I'm going to focus on the foreground where I need the water, the waves. And I'm just going to wait to get that swirl. We've got water coming in at the moment. I've got my two second timer on by mistake. I need to take my timer off. And then as the water retreats. Okay, 15 more minutes and we're going to go. Roger, Roger. Ooh, just out of my 15 minute warning and then we're off. Yeah, so we're just waiting for the water to retreat. And as it retreats, it's causing these nice patterns and swirls and that's what I'm trying to get these the movement in the water down in front of us. That is a fantastic load of water then. Absolutely brilliant. This is the sort of stuff I don't get to see normally. It's masses of water leading you through the coast. Absolutely fantastic. And just keep hitting the shutter button and that's what's giving me all that movement. Brilliant. I'm just going to flick through the shots, make sure my time is good. Yeah, we're getting movement, we're getting swirls, we're getting all sorts. That's what it's all about. Absolutely brilliant. Right, after my shout on my 15 minute warning, me and Lee have had to pack up because we can see the guys coming back this direction. And now we're going back up onto these rocks. This is a fantastic little bit of coast this is. There's a lot of opportunities here. It's a shame the water isn't out. That would have been really nice to see the water flowing off the um, waterfall. But you know, you can't win them all. We'll get the next bit, the next one. Old Mr. Longlegs here, look at him, he's flown up there. I've got to try and work my way of getting up here now. <laughs> Doesn't care about our short people. <sighs> here we go. <sighs> yeah, we're up, mate, we're up, we're up. Whew. Right, let's uh, whew, compose our thoughts. Here comes big lad. Mr. Rowe and Simon's coming back. They went a lot further down, so we've got a, a very different images between the two or four of us. All right, next stop is, I think it's the Black Sands and the sea stacks, which are just around that corner. We've got to go all the way around to get to them. And I think it's a long lens job. So yeah, looking forward to that one. Hey, right. Hey, all right, hey, good, hey, shots. Hello, good shots. Good uh, shots. Always are. Oh, always. share them later. I'll Quite share his shots later. Them. I'll tell you what I will do. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure I get at least one or two shots off of everybody put at the end. And I'll just put a bit of a slideshow to show you what were all slightly different. Um, obviously mine will be better, but I'll say Owens is just to please him because he stood next to me and bigger than me. Back in the car now, we're heading off to our next location, which is Eddy. Eddy. And we're heading off to Eddy, which is the Black Sands Beach, uh, so we can get the long lens out and uh, get a couple of pictures of the sea stacks. But the rain's coming to get us. Uh, we inevitably knew it was going to rain because we do have this very changeable weather. Um, so yeah, we're enjoying a bit of water at the moment, see how this car handles on these roads in the wet. And hopefully, if it handles okay, we'll see you at the next location. I'm just going to find out if they do coffees. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's like Scotland all over again. Yeah.
Oh, those sausages in Scotland were, were insane, weren't they? Yeah, but he'll be pleased when he sees it. That one was alive. <laughs> So we're all in awe at the moment of what's going on in front of us. We've got mega mountains. We're driving, driving down to this little village here, and this is the beach we're going to be standing on down the bottom there. But these mountains we're driving down into now are just astonishing. Absolutely fantastic. The water running down to the cliffs. I've just seen the sea snack behind us as well, and you could probably, if I got to the edge of the window, you might just see them out of the corner. But yeah, we're, we've already seen what we're going to photograph, so it's uh, quite a good one. Quite excited, definitely a long lens job. And with this bit of atmosphere and mist, and I'm still navigating, I'm helping the navigation. Um, yeah, I've forgotten what I was saying. I'll see you on the beach. We are here, and let me just give you a bit of a glimpse out the wet window. That is what we've come to photograph. You might not be able to see it, it's focusing on the window, but right over in yonder. definitely see you on the beach so we are down on the beach and uh, we've got a bit of a challenge on to the fact that the tide's almost in so I'm trying to work with what I've got on the beach and then I've got obviously the uh, sea stacks way off in the distance and the fact that it's drizzling which is almost another impossibility to have to work with but I am going to put the effort in to try and get a couple of shots that actually work so I'm having to focus stack because of the distance between me and the background is a lot. And I'm at F14, I think I'm going to try. But I'm looking for lines on the beach. Lines that's going to help you through the image and give you more than just the sea stacks in the distance. And I'm having to focus stack because of the distance, like I said, between the foreground and the background. Um, but we're getting there. We're getting there. The conditions aren't fantastic. But it's all about those little sea stacks in the distance right sticking out and they're quite big actually they're not just as little as I keep saying they are they're massive um, so yeah that's all I'm working with these lines on the beach trying to find something that really is going to jump out and grab me by the ghoulies <laughs> and uh, pull me in and I think I've got something in front of me the black sand with a little white flexing is actually really quite pretty so I'm using that to work with so I'm going to put a couple of images up while I scout around for the next one not bad, not bad. I've taken a, a close-in shot with a 300 mil as well, but there's not a lot of light going on over there to be fantastic. So let's work with what we've got. And that is the beach and the coloured sands. So I'm going to find another one. Got another one set up. This one's just as nice. I really do love this white uh, shell. It is it looking at it? It's white shell that's crushed and broken up in the sand. And uh, what it's doing is it's it's giving you this white stripe that's flowing down through the image. I'm not trying any long exposures. I'm literally focusing and taking the water as it comes. I could smooth out the water and give that a go. Let's try a a 10 stop on there just to see if I can get anything and I've got my little rain cover with me I brought it with me to try and keep the rain off the filters as well so I'm going to expose a little bit more it's giving me 30 seconds let's get to F11, F13 25 seconds a little bit more brightness 30 second exposure let's try that let's go for a, a close up one first focus area I just need to put my camera on focus area right focus on the foreground we'll do this one first 
and then we'll uh, try and get a longer one with uh, a different focus distance and then I'm just going to look for I'm going to look for the reflection if I can find that but let's start with this one first 30 second exposure here we go I am literally scouting around the beach trying to find that perfect, perfect little line. Now, this is what I'm looking at. You see all these stripes and lines? I'm just trying to use this water current coming through here. I've got little lines and stuff going on over here. But this here, this here is really, really cool. So I'm just going to try and work out how to put my camera in this to make this work. I think using this here where it comes in and leads you back round so it actually takes you across the image and back round to the mountains and the cliffs in the background so i think i'm going to set one up for that and then i'll switch it on and show you what it looks like when i can get it to work in camera now i know that uh, this is not really perfect for the sea stacks but i absolutely love the composition and the sea stacks are tiny off in the background there's not much i can do about that they are what they are because like i say the foreground is the main attraction in the show which is this white shingle, this white gritty sh broken up shell that's floating around. And I absolutely love this. Even with the wide angle lens would look even better still, but I'm not gonna put the wide angle lens on, 18 it is. Um, if there was something dramatic going on in the sea stacks, I'd definitely shoot that, but I will take a long lens shot again. But for me, I think it's more dramatic getting the foreground in and having them sea stacks here in the background, doing what they do best. doing what they do best and attracting all the people because it's fantastic right another one one more with all this shingle polarizers cutting through the glare making it black and white loving it loving it loving it loving it so i think for me I'm enjoying these these wider shots I think because I know the sea stacks are there and I can see them with my eyes but the actual shot with the reflections in and these white things are definitely killing it for me um, I, I would I would almost short shoot you know long lens and get up really tight if um, if the colors there was there was something there behind those stacks stacks but without that I am so sold on these lines and stripes down here in the foreground. I think for me they're much, much more important uh, than they are the sea stacks in the distance. Uh, because the uniqueness of the, the, the sand and the shingle and these white stripes, I think it's the uniqueness of these that's making this beach for me. And trying, I'm trying now to get the reflection of the mountain on the right hand side of me as well. Um, and the sea stacks are just small in the background and they look <laughs> fantastic, they really, really do. I love them like that. So I've got another couple of shots. I'm going to put them up on the screen for you. I'm going to carry on walking along this beach. Uh, there's a party of photographers here, which I've been really upsetting because I've trampled all over the sand before they got here. So, uh, and I'm getting shouted at. Let's see what he wants. Hello, hello, hello.
we are back in the car i'm just about to have my bodies and i actually made bodies for everyone this morning what a good boy i am fruit for later and we are going to be heading in the next video we are going to be heading to tronovic tronovic which is like the floating lake which is a massive massive uh, photographic location for people everybody all the bigs and the greats have been there um so yeah we're heading that direction I've got no idea what the weather's going to be so we'll see you in the next video at that one i'm, I'm i am going to check out here i'm happy with what i've got down on the beach i've literally just managed to get my drone out for a few minutes thanks for watching ciao for now say goodbye everybody bye uh, bye, bye bye and we've got trella Trollanipa. Trollanipa is where we're going next. So tune in next time for that one. I'm off. See you soon. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Please give us a thumbs up. It means a lot. Ciao for now. And See subscribe. you soon. Bye bye. And what was it? What? Say, say, say. Like and subscribe. Oh, like, comment, and subscribe. There you go. No. Like, comment, and subscribe. It doesn't matter anyway. Just do all three. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>